Got outside right now. I myself have not yet been to Hawaii, but um, I'd like to. Maybe we'll do that over Thanksgiving. 72 degrees, our current temperature. A westerly wind at 22 miles per hour, gusting to 32. The front has just hit us here in the museum district, and I would imagine that uh, wind vane is going to turn around a little bit at our IC once the 6 o'clock hour hits. Other temperatures are mostly in the 70s. We do have some 60s, though, up to our north and west. You see the 65 in Louisa, 64 in Orange. That's an indication that the front has come through there. It's about a 5, 6 degree drop, and you can feel it here as well. There's a look at the allergy situation for today. Grass is moderate, and the tree pollen remains in the high category. It's going to be a cold night tonight. We will drop down into the 30s, even though it says 40 there. We'll drop down into the upper 30s here tomorrow morning, and it will be a sunny and mild day tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow after that cold start. Then rain's going to come in very quickly on Thursday. Could actually be heavy at times, and we'll have low rain chances that will extend into the upcoming weekend. It's not going to be a washout, but there'll be chances for rain as we get into Saturday and Sunday. Let's check out what we've got right now through our diamond cam. A lot of blue sky there. Nothing left in the northern neck and middle peninsula to talk about. South of Richmond, a few showers between Chester and Petersburg. It's about it. A few sprinkles around New Kent, Roxbury area. That is it. Everything is moving to the east, southeast very rapidly. Nothing in behind the cold front and skies will clear out quickly tonight. Look at your lows, mid to upper 30s. It's going to be another cold night tonight. And highs tomorrow are going to make it into the low 60s, maybe a few mid 60s. And then those favorite areas close to the water are going to stay in the 50s. But a much cooler day tomorrow, but still a very nice day. West northwesterly breeze at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the key, tons of sunshine. All right, here's a look at it for the rest of tonight. The front will continue to head south and east. Skies will be clear for us, and you'll wake up to clear skies tomorrow morning. As we get into tomorrow throughout the day, tons of sunshine. And Thursday morning, clouds will build back into the area, and I think you'll have a couple hours to get some stuff done in the morning on Thursday before the rain sets in. But by about 11 o'clock in the morning, it is here, and those rainfall rates will pick up by afternoon. Got a few rumbles and thunders in there in there as well. And looking at our temperature trend, 63 are high tomorrow and then just 62 on Thursday. We'll jump to 75 on Friday before cooling off a little bit over the upcoming weekend, which you don't see here. Any 80s. We haven't had many days in the 80s here in April, and I don't think we're going to see one over the next week. It's going to be relatively mild. An 80% chance of rain on Thursday, 40% chance early on Friday, and then just a lingering chance of rain this weekend. It's going to be late Saturday and then into Sunday.